about the rewards and blessings received by the one who recites the Holy Quran. However, we forget how there are ripple effects and the blessings may reach our families and others as well. We have one hadith of our sixth holy Imam, Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam, in which he says, Qira'atul Quranu fil Mushafi to khafiful adab anil walidain walau kana kafirin. Reciting the Holy Quran from its pages by looking at the Holy Quran reduces the punishment of one's parents even if they are disbelievers. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as we recite the Holy Quran with open and receptive hearts, these blessings reach our families and our communities as well. Just to prepare you in advance, the rules of mud are complex, so I would really, really recommend that you have your tajweed notebooks open and your pens ready to make notes. So the normal mud are the long vowels of fatha, dhamma, and kasra. And here, anything that is stretched beyond the long vowel, stretched for more than two counts, this is additional mud. And that is the mud that we will be focusing on today. Now, additional mud is due to a long vowel followed by either a long vowel followed by either Hamza or Sukun. So whenever we have a long vowel followed by either Hamza or Sukun, this is additional mud, mud غير tabi'i. Today, we'll begin by looking at the type of types of additional mud that are due to Hamza. Long vowel followed by Hamza. So, there are two types of additional mud due to Hamza. They are called, we have mad mutasil, which is connected mad. And we have mad munfasil, which is separated mad. So the two types of mad that are due to a long vowel followed by hamza are connected mad, mad mutasil, and separated mad, mad munfasil. Let's begin by looking at mad mutasil, the connected mud. Now, whenever we have a word that has a long vowel followed by hamza, bo and both of these are in the same word, the long vowel and the hamza that follows it are in one word, this is called mad mutasil. Let's look at a quick example. For example, we have in the Holy Quran a conversation between Nabi Zakaria alayhi salam and Lady Maryam alayhi salam in Surah Ali Imran. And Allah says, كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا زَكَرِيَ الْمِحْرَابَ وَجَدَ عِنْدَهَا رِزْقَ That whenever Zakaria alayhi salam entered the mihrab, the place of prayer of Maryam alayhi salam, he found food. So he says, قَالَ يَا مَرْيَمُ أَنَّا لَكِ هَذَا O Maryam, what is all this food? Where does it come from? And she replies, "In Allah yarzuqu man yasha'u bighayri hisab. Surely Allah gives to whomever He wills um, without measure. So, uh, sh she replies, "In Allah yarzuqu man yasha'u bighayri hisab. This word, yasha'u, let's look at it very closely. Here we have sheen, followed by the long vowel of Fatha. Yeah? After the long vowel of Fatha, we have Hamza. So long vowel of Fatha followed by Hamza, we know this is Mad Muttasil, connected Mad, because both the long vowel and the Hamza that follows it are in the one same word. Okay? So this is Mad Muttasil. Whenever we have the long vowel and the Hamza in the same word, Mad Muttasil, we must stretch the long vowel the mud for four to six counts. 
So mud mud tassel connected mud is pretty long. It must be stretched for a minimum of four counts and a maximum of six counts. Okay? So mud mud tassel, four to six counts. Okay? Other examples in the Holy Quran where we have mud mud tassel include, for example, ulaika, malaika, jaa, and other examples as well. So when we have the long vowel and the hamza in the same word, we must stretch it, stretch the long vowel for four to six counts. We will now listen to Surah Al Surah Al Nas, a short surah from the 30th Jews of the Holy Quran, the first ayah only, to hear Madmu 